You're watching Park City Television, and I am so pleased to have joining me today Seda von Kinniger. She is an Austrian artist, and she is visiting Park City during Sundance. She has an art installation that I was able to attend, her White on White exhibit happening over in Deer Valley. Welcome to the show this morning, Seda. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for Wonderful. having me here. Absolutely. I am so pleased to, to have you once again. I was able to talk with you at that installation over the weekend, but nice to have you in a little bit more of a settled setting so that we can talk more about your art and what you do. But Sarah, one thing that stuck out to me the most is the fact that you've been doing this for a very long time. By the age of 19, you had world, or rather, artwork all over the world. That's just incredible. Well, to think that's about. kind of true because of, I mean, one of my hobbies was always like to travel, mm -hmm. and my sister gave me kind of the opportunity because she's been always actually my family. We've been traveling all my life. Mm -hmm. My grandmother has been already like uh, traveling, been like in arts. My mother been in arts. Like my whole family been artists, mm -hmm. and they pressured me to do art. Like I mean, I hate to say that because it sounds like I'm being kind of arrogant, but <laughs> I've been like a child prodigy, like when it came to paintings. Mm -hmm. And everybody from my family, like they wanted me to paint and draw since I was a child. Also on my website, you will be seeing soon like um, paintings or mm -hmm. like um, drawings. So I always liked to paint and uh, I've been like to an art school, art college from my childhood. Um, yeah, and that's what always my life empowered, like painting. And now you're here in Park City. Yes. And uh, making some <laughs> and other stops Sundance, as well. Like I've been proud to be here and having mm -hmm. my art installation. That's wonderful. In Utah, yes. Well, let's talk a little bit about your early development as an artist. First off, your grandmother, you have a very close relationship with her. Yes, Tell me about I that. Yes, I did have. She passed away, mm -hmm. but um, well, she painted with me since I'm two years old and also like, you know, <laughs> she teach me how to paint. And so she was the one that stuck the paintbrush in your hand it. and helped yes, you. Yes, she did. Wow. Like drawings, mm -hmm. child drawings. And yeah. Well, you not only paint now, you do a lot of different things. You are truly an artist in many aspects. You know, you're a designer, an animator, you paint. Uh, I mean, you're a war photographer even. This is well, incredible what we do. War photography, I started because I did live some time from the age of 18, 19. Mm -hmm. I started to go to the Middle East. I started working on humanitarian projects, right. especially when I started to teach, like um, working to, with human rights, especially uh, encouraging women and children, focusing on that, because that's an issue in the Middle East, especially mm -hmm. these days. I mean, we know about that right now, ISIS, and there is always problems, and I do believe in the Middle East there's never going to be peace, which is a shame, and we have to focus on that, and it's all over the world that women will always be, you know, everywhere in the world, it's sad to say, but especially there we have to have a focus on, and I got encouraged to do that and work with humanitarian projects, and I got encouraged to go to Syria and work like with photography. Mm -hmm. I did always had an interest in fashion photography. It's, it's not a hobby, but the diversity to do that. Mm -hmm. And I had not fun, it's the wrong word, but it was out of like, you know, had the, it was more like to go and have like to be proud of going there, mm -hmm. but then more have to the courage to go there and be proud, but then actually to do it and do it out of heart, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know? and go there and see what's actually happening. And then more doing it to say, yes, I'm doing it because I really love doing it. Wow. So it was not anymore, yes, I want to do it. So people say, yeah, she's brave doing it. So I went to Jordan, I went to Syria, and I went to Lebanon in 2009. And I still go every year. I do have my orphanage. I don't want to talk more about it because it's private and I'm mm -hmm. doing it and it's very dangerous, so right. it's more like, you know, undercover. Mm -hmm. But it's interesting. Wow. And then, in, you know, I still love fashion photography doing it as well. You have well. so many interests. This yes, is so amazing to see that's what I your love, love to for do. that. Yes. Let's talk for a moment more about your desire to inspire different people from different cultures to really recognize those differences, but still have that love, kind of what you were alluding to, that the, the, the warfare, uh, the hatred that exists in so many of these places that you mentioned, and your desire 
to help that situation through your art. Describe that. It does come from traveling a lot, mm -hmm. and that's why I love to work with Art of Elysium because they have a right angle to do so because they are right art heels. As my mother, for example, she does work as a religion teacher. I don't want to go too much in that subject mm -hmm. because it's right art heels. She does work right. with handicapped handicapped, I don't know if that's the right word for my English sometimes, it's awesome. <laughs> <one. laughs> You're good. Um, art heels, that's their theme and I like that. Mm -hmm. um, it does, you know, some people release, or even for me, it's a therapy, art heels, that's totally true. Many would agree do, with that, this yes, is true. You do release a lot through art, because you can, some people cry, some people pain. Uh, even from my last project, White and Right, you release so much, you go through emotions, some people take drugs, some people cry, some people smile if they do art, if you take a paintbrush, even like Jackson Pollock, I'm sure when he went with his, like, you know, I mean, I'm sure you see some paintings of his and he goes and he express and he throws art. Some people will say that's not art because he just <laughs> pushes there. Some people will say, yeah, it is. Like you see so much emotion, right? Yes, so, and speaking of yeah. some of these exhibits, you just kind of got into that with your yeah. latest collection, White on White. I want to hear more about what inspired you to create that. We're gonna toss some of these images up here right now so we can take a look at what we're seeing. Uh, this first one, what are we looking at, Sarah? Oh, that is, some people would have said, I mean, one of the producers came up to me. I wouldn't say, I didn't know, I didn't recognize her. Mm -hmm. My manager would absolutely tell me, oh, you have to meet her. I'm not really familiar with how Hollywood, so I don't <laughs> know any people like they would say, yeah, you should know her. I don't. Because, uh -huh. come on, I'm lost here and I don't know anyone, <laughs> right? So, okay, now we're looking at someone else. You should go back to the latest picture. That first one the that first we were looking at, tell us more about that. was Dr. Shivago. Mm -hmm. Uh, Amar Sharif, if I pronounced the name right, right? So Amar Sharif, he was like, um, that was Dr. Zhivago, a movie mm -hmm. out of the 60s. Right. And you could see the shadows. And all I used was uh, shades of white. And you could see like, uh, that's a lion. So I mean, this is another one. Come but on, that should be obvious, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, well, that's the thing is that the, the lighting on this is just yes. incredible. Yeah. That you're Usually, able to if you see the painting itself, all you should see is just white on white. Mm -hmm. You should stand straight forward, right? So it depends how you move. Mm -hmm. If you move like um, from the one angle to the other angle, all you see is like different shades of white. I did not use anything of white. And there is one thing. Other people would say, no, if you have one white, white is not a color. And I mm. prove white has a color. People would say, and there we come to my next subject, because you were asking me what's your next project. And all other mm -hmm. artists would say, oh, no, black is not a color. And I'll prove you wrong. Black is a color. Mm. And that's going to be my next project. Mm -hmm. She's Black like, I'm out color. there to prove you guys wrong. Oh, <laughs> that's yes, what you have that's to say. What I do. I want I you to share with the viewers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and that's a self portrait. And I feel oh. pretty arrogant at that because you should never do self portraits if you're not famous. If you have your huh. talent, I think you should do that. So, no problem there. That's incredible to so see yes, that. And that's different. And it was, honestly, it was my most challenging really? project so far. Wow. Also, the white and white shades. Describe where your inspiration as an artist comes from. You mentioned how your grandmother kind of got you started in this, but where do you gather your inspiration from? Is it from experiences, from people, no, from images? How does that work? I don't have much experience at all. Mm. Like, it just comes. I have people around me. I love, I know that sounds so kitschy, if that's the right word, but friends inspire me. My crew around me inspires mm -hmm. me. Love inspires me. Hate inspires me. Everything around me inspires me. The world everything. Let's talk for a moment about some of the projects you've worked on beyond uh, art. You've done some art direction with James oh, Franco. Oh, with James Frank? No, mm -hmm. I haven't done yet. Or working towards that? I'm working towards that, Describe but I haven't uh, met him much. I haven't seen mm -hmm. him only twice. I'm looking forward to working with him. Great. I've seen a few movies with him, but yeah, he does inspire me. First of all, uh, because he's an actor mm -hmm. and he paints. I think that's pretty inspiring. Um, I'm looking forward to work, oh, by the way, the line I've painted that was actually for him, for his movie, Yosemite. 
Really? That was and that was my best outcome in painting. Wow. Mo uh, painting most people uh, congratulate most. Uh -huh. It was for the movie. You, uh, I forgot how to pronounce this. Yosemite. 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 You've got, you've got it called. right on. Yeah. That's perfect. <laughs> and it's of the, the, the mountain lion. Mm -hmm. I think he killed the cat. If I'm right on that. In that film? And yes. I haven't seen it. So no, I'll I take haven't your word seen for it. it either. <laughs> so, and I hope I'm not taking anything of No, the no, that, that's great. I think it's incredible so, the way yeah. you're able to evoke well, these images. Well, that was the best outcoming image. So, that's actually uh -huh. especially for that movie. Right. And yeah. That's exciting. And so, yeah, this is it. Well, once again, it's, it's interesting to see your the variety that you have in your portfolio. Like I said, everything from animation to art direction Thank to you. photography. And I'm so excited to see what you do next. And next time you're no, we in We do, Sunday. actually, uh, James Franco and That's I, right. we did set up a photo shooting. So he's going to, um, uh, we do have set up a shooting. Mm -hmm. So he's going to take the photos for my new website. And I hope something crazy is coming out because wow. I do love his style, how he shot, shoot like photos, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That I hope so he's going to help me with that. Wonderful. I'm yes. so pleased to hear of your success and it's been with you for, for a long time as a child even. So it's great to, to have you here at Sundance with thank us. And you so when you much. come back in town, we'd love to have you back on the show. Thank so you so much. Thank you very much thank for you. your time. And you can check out more of Sarah's work online. This is Sarah Von Kiniger if you are tuning in for the first time. And welcome. Welcome to Park Thank City. You. Nice to have had you here and enjoy the rest Thank of your stay you so here. Much. Nice to Thank have you, you here. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Much more coming up on Park City Television. Thank you.